In the Attributes tab, we can add descriptive information about our product. To select the product color, we can click on the main color group. Our shirt is available in red, purple, black, blue, brown, orange, and green. We can use the rename link to change the name of the color, as well as change the hue or designate a hex code. If our golf shirt contained two colors, one on the body and one on the sleeves or collar, for example, we could establish color combinations by clicking on the main color group, clicking on the Create Combo link, and then selecting a second color. After adding our colors, let's now add the sizes. We'll click on the drop-down, and then select the applicable size type, apparel, standard, and numbered. Now let's check extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. To add a material, we can click on the Select Material drop-down. If our shirts were 100% polyester, we could just click on Polyester under Fabric. However, our shirt is a 50-50 cotton polyester blend. To add a blend, we will select Blend under Fabric. Now, we'll select Cotton from this drop-down and enter 50 in the percentage box. The remaining percentage will be automatically calculated in the second percentage box. Then, we can select Polyester from this drop-down. We are able to add shapes if needed, but this field does not apply to our golf shirt, so we'll move on to Options. In the Product Options area, we can add further available options for our shirt, such as Placket Options. We can click on the Add a Custom Product Option link and type the option name. Then type the values. Two buttons, followed by Enter, Comma, or Tab, and then three buttons again followed by enter, comma, or tab. When ordering this product, the buyer will need to select a placket option, so let's check the required for order checkbox. However, they are able to select both placket options in one order, so we will not check they can only order one box. This means that during the checkout process, buyers will be required to select a placket option, but are able to order shirts with both two and three buttons in the same order. If there were additional options such as sleeve length or pocket options, we could use the Apply and Add button to set up multiple product options. Let's click on Apply. Now that we have added our attributes, let's click on Save and then click on the Imprinting tab 